Rocco, a tough way to end what has been a tough series. A lot of missed opportunities. What do you take away from this one today? Well, what I took away was uh, the truth of the matter is we were we were flat and we made no adjustments really in the game, almost whatsoever. And uh, if you're going to call a spade a spade and say how it is, that's that's not good baseball. We got we got wiped this series by the team on the other side of the field, and. Uh, there's there's no way we can walk out of this with any any positives to be honest with you and that's that's the truth i mean if i'm uh rolling that up and trying to portray it any other way i'm lying so we have to make some really uh really legitimate adjustments um to what we're doing right now if we're going to go out there and and compete and win games against uh that team or really any other team so i'm not really pleased right now with uh with the effort this series and um the second half is here uh but we have we have some work to do in the second half because we can't we can't play like this you have talked about needing to make adjustments and fix things before it gets too late are you at the point where you are going to try something totally different how do you set a game plan to turn things around yeah that's for me and the coaches to to think about right now um we're gonna we're gonna sit down and I think answer some pretty hard, uh, hard questions. Because uh, I said it, what what we're doing, you know, just the reliance on r r good players just are, will eventually be good if they stick to their plan and things like that. Um, it hasn't it hasn't come to fruition to this point. So um, this is uh, like a, this is a legitimate challenge right now for for us as a staff, but for our players. Um, because each and every one of them, they can do better than what they're doing right now. It's our responsibility as the staff to get them there, but they can they can play better than what they're playing like. Uh, and we should be able to go out there and compete in this series and win some games in this series. Uh, and we weren't even we were really weren't even that close. Even though some of the scores were close, um, the the lack of adjustments during the game, we just kept doing the same stuff over and over again. And that's uh, that's not good. That's not good enough. Have there been efforts between the plan and players adjusting just not to your satisfaction, or is this something that, you know, have you, I mean, have you, have you guys talked about like the two strike approach, I think it was Tampa Bay three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've attempted to make adjustments in some ways. Um, it hasn't worked. I mean, just, it hasn't worked. And, uh, uh, it's a, this is a this is a challenge. This is an ultimatum for our team because if we we're, we're here, we you know these guys work their freaking asses off uh, every day. But maybe we got to work our asses off in a different way uh, and have a different approach and a different mindset when we step out on the field. Um, because really what we're doing right now is uh, frustrating because, you know, that's that's madness going out there and doing the same uh, stuff over and over and over again. When we have guys that have shown either for, for periods of time or, or for their whole careers to be productive players, to be falling, you know, flat as a group right now, we, we, uh, we demand more of ourselves than what we're doing right now. That's every single person in uniform out on the field right now. And uh, we owe it to ourselves. We owe it to the organization. We owe it to our fans. We owe it to everyone to give more than what we're given at the moment.